Hey, how are you? How have you been? Every time I go live, I feel like it's been about a million years since I've seen you. Um, <laughs> if you're not familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. And what I do is I help people who are unhappy at work and beyond get their mojo back, make adulting fun. Um, so, you know, I wanted to talk today really briefly about that really shitty inner voice, that like inner drama queen that is constantly playing in our minds. Um, and what to do when that inner voice comes up, like the inner voice that says, you know, I'm not pretty or I'm not smart enough or um, why would anybody like me or, um, you know, the list could go on and on and on. Um, and, you know, it's something that's come up in my workshops quite a bit lately and actually on some of my calls with some clients, which is this inner voice like how do I make it stop it's it's so bad it's like it's like the devil it's like the antichrist like it's so horrible I just wanted to go away and make it stop and in reality um, that's not the key to making it go away it's not the key to making you feel better you know the analogy that I really like to use that I, I feel like it's very widely used in the self-care and professional uh, personal development world is that this shitty inner voice, which I like to call my inner drama queen, um, is, I mean, you can imagine it as a child. I'm looking at my post-it because I just wrote this down the other day. The shitty inner voice is a child. Comfort her, love her, and tell her, or let her know that everything will be okay. And if you start to, to visualize the fact that your inner voice is actually a child, like a, you would never, ever get annoyed and yell at and scream at and get frustrated with a child that comes up to you on a playground that says, you know, the other kids don't think I'm pretty or they don't think I'm smart enough. If a child came up to you, you wouldn't be like, why do you always say this? Like you always do this. You know, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're not pretty. You're not smart. This is what we do to ourselves, but yet we would never do this to a child. So I like to, give you guys the analogy which I use for myself whenever I'm feeling down or feeling that negative voice is I would do the exact same thing that I would do to a child on a playground if a child comes up to me and is really upset I would comfort them I would love them I would say everything's gonna be okay it's no big deal you made a mistake no big deal brush off you know pick, pick yourself up by the bootstraps and keep going but don't beat yourself up and I think a lot of us these days, we're, we're beating ourselves up. You know, we think this thought and it triggers a spiral where we're just literally torturing ourselves from the inside out. And um, that I think the tool of using, um, using your, um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, I apologize. This, this concept of using a child as a placeholder for, your inner voice and kind of imagining your inner voice being that child, it's easier to separate yourself and realize that this is, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I, it can be better. And it's easier to comfort yourself when you are nurturing something. You're nurturing that inner voice, that persona that I call my inner drama queen. Um, and it actually helps quiet it. You know, if a, a screaming child comes up to you and you scream back, it's just gonna make it worse. And I think a lot of us are doing that with ourselves and our own minds. But um, anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. Um, and it's definitely something that's come out of my recent Feeling Salty workshop. So if you are feeling like you can't get that inner voice to shut up <laughs> and you're feeling frustrated and you're feeling sad or maybe upset or really unsure, now is the time to get yourself to a Feeling Salty workshop. I've got one in conjunction with Philadelphia Open Studio Tours on Sunday, this Sunday, um, in the Glen Dining Rock Garden, weather permitting. Um, and tickets are absolutely free. So if you go to the link in the description, apopstudios.eventbrite.com, you can grab your free spot for that. And by the way, there's only four spots left. So make sure you grab them quick because they are selling out quick. All right, I love you guys. And as always, it's so nice to spend some quality time with you. And I just want you to know that I love you and that you matter. You absolutely.